The first thing that brings me in is the proportions and his use of color. And what I really like about McLaughlin's work is that he sets up certain parameters. He sets up certain parameters and then one painting slightly changes from another. And I really like the straightforwardness that he presents his paintings to the viewer. There's not trickery. He puts something out there and asks like uh, himself as well as you, like, this is what this is. What is this? How does it feel? And then to the next painting, what, if it's changed a little bit like this, how does that feel? I moved to Los Angeles in 97. I'm not sure if I knew McLaughlin's work when I moved down here or not, but I know fairly soon after I was here, I got real familiar with the work. I remember learning that he was military and that he started painting late in life. But of course, I don't learn any of that if, I, if I'm not just straight out drawn to the, the painting. His proportions are so good and so kind of invigorating. And then the way that he paints, the individual paints, uh, is just really beautiful. The way the paint leaves the edge or the way that one color meets the other. It's really lovingly done in pretty much all the paintings. Pretty much all the paintings across the board, just in my opinion, a real love of material. I find them very calming. I find them very meditative. It wouldn't surprise me if he looked at this as a, as a certain kind of spiritual practice. I imagine that he got tremendous satisfaction doing this kind of work. I think the repeating motifs and the repeating colors uh, ha had to have been uh, meditative and sometimes um, a commitment to time and to a practice, a very still practice, um, leads to a different way of, uh, of, of thinking. And I think it was rigorous enough that my guess is while he was making these, uh, and this is my experience of, of when, when I've, I've made geometric abstraction, is that enough stuff can be firing in that, enough hyper concentration that you do lose yourself into that void. Um, and of course, that's like the best thing when you lose yourself and you go into that space. Mm -hmm.